Okay, so how much does it cost to build a coffee truck? First question that you need to kind of narrow down is if you want to do a truck or a trailer. Trailers are going to be cheaper. Um, you can probably find a trailer anywhere between $500 to you know $4,000 if it's pretty well built. So those generally run a little bit cheaper than trucks do. Truck, a good truck, I think you know panel van or Ford Transit or something like that. Anywhere from five grand all the way up to I would say twenty grand, maybe even thirty if you're looking on getting pretty close to brand new. So trucks generally cost more money and that's of course because you have the engine that's attached to it. So that's probably going to be the first major decision is deciding trailer or truck. And uh, in the ebook I do have a section on that on on how to how to make that decision and why to make that decision. I've owned both trucks and trailers and there's pros and cons to both. Trailer's nice because it's cheap startup. It's harder to delegate that work to someone else teaching them how to load the trailer and that type of stuff. The, Truck is nice because it's easy to set up. Of course, the startup cost is more. So those are things to keep in mind when you're looking on building this out. Uh, the next big expense that you're probably gonna be looking at is your espresso machine. I've been scouring Craigslist and eBay, OfferUp, uh, let go of these type of apps and stuff for a while. And I think generally for a used espresso machine, you're gonna be looking at about a thousand to 1500 bucks. Uh, for more of a refurbished, you're looking at about 2,500 to maybe four grand. And then for brand new, 10 grand up. You might be able to get a brand new one for about seven grand, um, but I think brand new espresso machines are going to cost you a lot of money. So generally anywhere between one, I would say one to three grand for the espresso machine. Next big one with that is the grinder, of course. Grinders, you could just buy them new. They're 500 bucks. Um, you might get a used one for 300, but I don't feel like that $200 is worth it. I think it's better just to get one new, get one with a warranty on it. So the next big thing within your electric system is gonna be your generator. Um, generators can get pricey. A loud one is gonna be five to $700. A quiet one can be upwards of $2,000. So your generator is gonna probably be your next biggest expense within your electrical system. The electrical system itself will probably cost you about another thousand dollars running your conduit. You might shave a few pennies off by doing it yourself, but electrical is one of the few situations where I don't mind paying extra dollar to make sure it's done right. Just because one, if I'm doing it incorrectly, it can you know hurt or kill me. And then two, uh, it's one of the few things that can set my coffee truck on fire. So I prefer to, to delegate that work if that's at all possible. Plumbing I think is going to cost you probably about another $1,000. Um, and then to put it in, it's gonna cost you another grand. So let's just say two grand for the plumbing. Now you probably could put the plumbing in on your own if your uh, code allows you to do that um, and save a little bit of money there. But your water tanks, your fresh and your gray, all that piping. If you live up north, you wanna keep that piping warm. So insulation for the piping, sinks and everything, I think is gonna run you roughly about a thousand bucks. You might be able to find a little bit cheaper, you know, uh, being around, finding some, used RV tanks or be able to find, you know, like a concession sink on eBay or something and keep that cost down. Probably shave, I would say, if you look on the cheap, you'll probably save about 400 bucks. Okay, then you have like cabinets and storage stuff. Let's just call that an even two, 300 bucks. Refrigerator, I think 500 up to a thousand. If you're getting one of the under the counter fridges, you can look those up on eBay and Craigslist. I can find them pretty often here in town. You can buy those ones used. I think that's perfectly appropriate. I have information on how to select a refrigerator in my ebook. Okay, then you have like your coffee pot um, and your air pots, your commercial coffee maker. Uh, those usually run about mm, give or take 200 to $300 plus the air pots. Those are about 30, 35 bucks each. So you want about four or five of those you know generally one for decaf and about four for regular coffee probably look at about 500 bucks for your your coffee maker and your air pots
Okay, then you got your outside window. Go with a drive through window, you're gonna spend a lot of money. Different codes uh, require different things, so make sure you check your code on this one. For us, we did a do-it-yourself window, maybe cost us 200 bucks. But there are other places that require that you get a specific type of window, and when I priced those, I was looking at $1,000 pretty easily. Window is anywhere from two to a thousand bucks. The next thing you can look at is your floors. Put vinyl floor in, like vinyl tile if you want. You can put laminate, depending on the code. You can go down to like your lumber liquidators and just see if they have extra laminate you can usually find a pretty good deal on those so i'm going to put the coffee truck flooring in at about 300 bucks you have your hot water heater you can go ahead and add on at least 300 bucks for the next big thing is going to be your paint job all your lights um, i just generally put this as, as your your external decor sort of paint jobs if you're doing like a, a car paint job this those can run twelve hundred dollars to two thousand dollars wraps which i'm not a big fan of a lot of people are a lot of people like wraps for their food truck but um you have to see a wrap last over five years i live in new mexico and the sun just beats them down so what i've seen the wraps cost three grand plus paint jobs you can probably get for about 1500 bucks or you can do it yourself if you want to give it a crack uh, about 500 dollars for all the um, auto paints and then the tape of course because you got to tape it and there's the startup supplies the first round of business maybe 400 bucks and that's all the cups and the lids and the straws you have to get your first round of syrups this is where the coffee trucking gets fun you know because where you get to start buying like the syrups and the coffee and really having fun with it so if you're really interested in starting um, a coffee truck with a limited budget you for a decent ready-to-go coffee trailer I would say anywhere between 10 to 15 grand for a decent ready-to-go coffee truck I would say probably 50 to 25 grand you're gonna do it yourself which is the way I did my first truck I think it's pretty easy to say a trailer you can get started for 10 grand and that's with the espresso machine a truck about 20 grand that's then of course if you're not gonna do it yourself then the, the cost rise um, if you're interested in coffee trucking, I really encourage jumping down to the website. I mean, that's where you're going to find all of our good information. If you have questions, feel free to throw them in the comment box. Liking the video will help with spreading the news, um, sharing the video, especially to a barista in your life. And then, you know, by all means, if this is um, something you're interested in doing, then feel free to hit the subscribe button. The little bell right next to it will make sure that you get uh, notifications from me whenever I put up a new video. You never know where that journey is going to take you. I, I mean, we've uh, served coffee to the Rolling Stones, uh, Lawrence Fishburne, all, you know, crazy movie stars. We've just had like so many cool experiences and four years since Green Joe opened, it's just been, uh, uh, it's been a cool, crazy, fun ride, and I've really enjoyed it. And if I can help you guys get started in yours, I'm all about it. So thanks for visiting my, my YouTube page and, and the website, and, and, uh, and I, I hope you guys get started on your dreams too.